Hi and welcome to Make Up My Guant. My name is Leanne. <coughs> First thing I do is cough. I love you guys. Okay, so we did my blush declutter and I totally forgot all my kimchi blushes. Y'all, I'm not decluttering any of those. Same thing. With, look now, we've already talked about you being too close. So take a step back. I'll try not to whap you during this filming. You should see the setup. It is hysterical. Anywho, um, I won't be decluttering my bronzers or contours from Kimchi. They're my favorite brand. So anyway, this is bronzer declutter. And there are two drawers. There are two drawers of bronzers. It's way too many, but I love them. So let's declutter. Same thing applies as in the blush declutter. Um... I have friends and family who I'll give this to, so don't ask me for them. I know I have way too much makeup. Don't judge me. It's my hobby, and I love it, and it's hurting no one. And, oh, things can be really super old, and I'm at peace with that. It's my face, not yours. Love you. Okay, here we go. So, we're going to do this quickly, but probably it'll take another hour. <laughs> Y'all notice up here, I still have my stuff from the blush video that I haven't even moved yet. That was yesterday. That's how, that that's where we are. Love you. Let's do this. One of my favorite bronzers of all time. This is being held together with a piece of packing tape. This is the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Ready to Go. It lives here in this, whoa, this container here on my vanity. And so she's going right back there. I love her so much. Here's another one that lives on my vanity. This thing is older than the hills. This is Aphrodite Shell. It's an extra dimension bronzer from MAC. It was in their little aqua whatever. These are like raised beads. It's the most beautiful bronzer. She lives there. And, oh, this is the other one that lives there. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette in Ashy Radiance. She lives there too. She's gorgeous. Love her so much. And then... Uh, I think that's all that actually lives there, but we'll do, here we go for the rest. Okay, again, I'm decluttering because either it doesn't work for me or I don't like it. It doesn't bring me joy. That's my rules. Okay, Moira Sunshine Dreams. This is the Bronzed Goddess Duo. Uh, it's st stunningly gorgeous. I just got this for Christmas. I will be keeping her. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs uh, Omega Bronze in Tantric. And she is stunningly gorgeous, keeping her. This is the Laura Geller Baked Hydrating Bronzer. It's called a Beach Matte Bronzer in Siesta Medium. And I think she's fine. This is going to be the hard thing. Should we be swatching? Maybe. I don't know. Y'all, probably. That's a pretty bronzer. This is going to be the problem, y'all. I can make all bronzers work. I have no beef with a shimmery bronzer, a matte bronzer, a yellow bronzer, an orange bronzer. I don't care. This is going to be the worst declutter of all declutters. Why do I have two of these? Do I have two of these? Are these the same things? No. Okay. Um, we did discover one blush I had two of. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Bronze Please in La Terra. It's beautiful. Keeping her, this is just going to be terrible. This is the True Lumi Bronze It Sun Kissed Bronzer for face and body in the shade 3 Deep. She's gorgeous. Keeping her. This is awful. Okay. This is the world's shimmeriest bronzer in the in the whole wide world. It's LA Colors bronzer. It really is more like, I mean, it's beyond. That's okay, we'll get rid of her. <laughs> the smallest bronzer. At least I got rid of something. Uh, here's another one that I probably should get rid of. Uh, this is the City Color Desert Treasures in Oasis. This is old, but I, I, yeah, it's almost the same exact color. It's, it, we're gonna get rid of her. Look, see, I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Makeup Revolution Ultra Bronze. This is, um, no shade, I guess Ultra Bronze is the shade. I think I used her quite a bit. Yeah, she's really nice, keeping her. This is gonna be bad. Okay, here's a giant Sephora bronzer. Remember this? This is way back in the day. This is the Sol de Rio 
bronzing powder. She's gargantuan and she's lovely. She's so pretty, y'all. Like, so pretty. Keeping. Do I have another Marc Jacobs? Oh my God. Do I have two? Who would have two? Do I literally have. Shit. I have two. Well, I. I have two. I guess I'm getting rid of one. I can't possibly use this up. Like. Okay, we're getting rid of a Marc Jacobs bronzer. Why did I buy two? What's wrong with me? Here's an Ace Beauté Bronzed in Paradise palette. I don't know that I love this one. Let's put this in the maybe. Amuse Cosmetics Matte Bronzer. And I don't have a shade name. This comes from Shop Miss A. She's a little dark, ain't she? But we could make her work. But would we? Mm, we'll, we'll give her away. Look at, okay, so, wait. I have two of this one. This is stupid. How did I become this person? This is why I'm doing this. This is why you're doing this. Okay, we'll get rid of one. Keep one. I guess I'll be getting rid of a lot of bronzers simply because I have dupes of them. Something is wrong with me. This is the Kat Von D... Shade and Light Contour Duo, and this is, I believe, the light one, yeah. And whew, she's gorgeous. I love this. Keeping her. Natasha Denona Glow in Dark. I use this as a bronzer, and it is beautiful. It is it is shimmery. Do not get me wrong, darling. But it is a beautiful tone. Let's see, it's not gold or orangey. It's beautiful. Keeping her. Oh my gosh, this is the oldest bronzer in my whole collection. This is so old. <laughs> this is the It Cosmetics Vitality Glow Anti-Aging Matte Bronzer. Oh my gosh, she is so old. I think I might be near pan. You probably can't tell. There is uh, like a waffling right there in the middle. Oh yeah, well, I've got to be near pan. We are going to keep her and we're going to use her. And we're going to hit pan on a giant It Cosmetics bronzer. Yes, we are. Here's the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. It's the lighter skin in 01 Natural. Here, ooh, okay. Opening them is half the battle. I don't know what I thought of this one. It's very light. Wow. She's very, very, I mean, I'm picking it up, but she's real light. I think I'm going to let her go. She don't got a lot of oomph. And I got a lot of powders that got a lot of oomph. This is the Zuri Flawless Pressed Powder in Cocoa Bronze. Oh, she's got a little puff at the bottom. Okay. Let's see what she looks like. That's quite pretty. I don't know what I think of her. So let's put her over here and we'll try her out. Believe Beauty in Hawaiian Glow. Yeah, she's pretty. Keep her. Revolution Bronze Shimmer Highlight thing. I mean, if we mix them together, does it make a bronzer color? It do. And it's pretty. Keeping that. I love bronzer, y'all. I love it. Here is the, oh, remember this? The Body Shop, like, um, bronzing powder in 02. It looks like a honeycomb. Remember this? Back in the day? Yes, queen. And it's pretty. It's like a lighter bronzer. It's very pretty. This apparently is still in the case. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to put this over in the giveaway just to see. Because I, I'm assuming that I have an open one somewhere. And that's why it's still in the box. But, you know, assumptions and me. This is the Apu, Apu 3D Contouring Kit. This was um, from, it's a Korean brand. And it is from oh, blah, blah, blah. Yes Style, and it's beautiful. Love her, keeping her. Becca, Sunset Waves. This is the gradient one. Hello. Hello. I always open it on the wrong side. It's like a USB. Uh, she's really pretty, keeping her. This is not going well. Find something to declutter. Okay, but I can't. Natasha Denona Blush in Tutu and Natural Beige. Oh, I see now why. It is... In the bronzer drawer. Holy moly, that's pretty. Yep, keeping her. 
This is disturbing. This is, I don't even remember that I had this. This is the MAC Highlight Powder and Spring Bling. Oh, okay. So it looks like there was an overspray at one point, and I have used it, and that is a bronzer. That's a really pretty bronzer. That's beautiful. Wonderful. Keep her. Hmm. I love this bad boy. Um, this is the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer in Sweet Tea, and she is gorgeous. I love her. I mean, the packaging is cute and all, but I hate it, but I love it, but I hate it, you know? It's one of those. This one's another stunning MAC. Um, this is Your Wish Is My Command, and it is a beautiful bronzer from the Aladdin Collection. Love that a lot. One of my favorite nude lipsticks came from that collection. Love it so much. LA Colors Pressed Powder in Tan. So this is not even a bronzer. This is just a pressed powder in tan. Oh, gosh, that's pretty. <laughs> well, it's really light. It's like really light, but is it really pretty? I don't know. Is it though? That's yeah, really pretty. Do I need it? No, I mean, literally I have so many bronzers, it's not even funny, but man, it's pretty. Okay, keeping it. Oh, keeping it. We're not doing well. This, I should have, I probably do in my other drawer. I've got cream, more creams and things like that. I need to kind of put the liquids all together. This is the pure bronze your selfie, like a liquid bronzer. I do love a cream or liquid bronzer. I will be keeping her, but I'm going to set liquid bronzers in a different place so that I, anyway, it's a thing. It's the order in which I put things on. This is Palm Beach Ready from Wet n Wild. This is the one that a lot of people liked. Um, it's very shimmery and I think it's too shimmery. I'm going to let her go. This is Gorgeous Cosmetics um, Endless Summer Bronzing Powder, darker than all get out. But I think she still, I think she works. Like, I, I, she works, baby. She works. Keep her. Oh gosh, we're starting to run out of space in the keep box. The keep box should have been the bigger box. We didn't know. Did we know? No. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Ra Radiant Light. Why is this in the bronzing drawer? Is there a reason? Well, it is. Let's try her as a finishing powder. We're setting her out. We're gonna we're gonna try her as a finishing powder, light application, ambient, uh, luminous bronze light from Hourglass. Keeping her. Okay. Please find some. Oh. <laughs> Here she is. This is the Beauty Benefits Pressed Powder. It is this like broke down. We are keeping her because we're going to use her up. This I believe I got from the Dollar Tree. Like honestly believe that I got it from the Dollar Tree. And it is just a powder. But it is glowy and beautiful and gorgeous. And it is beautiful. So I'm going to keep her. I actually put her in my project pan last year and enjoyed every minute of her. So keeping her. Um, I have used up some bronzers in the past. We'll talk about those when I hit when I get to them. This I'm letting go. This is the Undress Your Skin by Seven Cool. It's just super shimmery, not great quality. She can go. Elf Bronzer Palette. I gave up my blush palettes by Elf, but I kind of want to keep this, but why? I have so much bronzer. Like I have so much bronzer. But I love bronzer, but I have so much, but I love it. Like, and I'm sitting here like, that's a pretty shade. And it is, <sighs> am I going to use this though? Probably not. Let her go. Here's another one I'm willing to let go. The Santee Mineral Powder, Pressed Powder. This is in, this is like, they're called their Galaxy Powder, y'all. It is, it has a terrible fragrance too. She's going, goodbye. Thank you for your service. Here is the Pure Mineral Glow. I used her quite a bit. She's really shimmery too, like super shimmery. And I don't know that I want to keep her either. She's a lot golden. I'll let her go too. Okay, we're on a roll. Here is the NARS, is a baby NARS Laguna. She can stay, the baby can stay. We don't get rid of babies. I've got a couple of color pops here from the Wild Thing collection. This is Jet Set and Trippin. Here is Jet Set, beautiful. Trippin', beautiful. Keeping those. 
Okay. Okay, we're keeping her. This is the, the Laguna Cream Bronzer. Love her so much. And I'm actually going to move her over here with my liquid bronzer. And the same with the Fenty Amber. I have 01 Amber. Um, and she's more of a contour powder, but whatever. I use them both in the same way, so I'll keep those together. And I'll add the ColourPop Super Shop Cheek and Bon Voyage. She's like a creamy. And she's really nice. Keep her. Gigi Gorgeous. I don't know what. I do not know who did this, like, collection or whatever. It came out of the PRC. But it was in our Ipsy uh, in 2019, I guess. And I got a blush, and then I got um, this bronzer duo. It's beautiful. Whoever did this, was it was good. I don't know why that, like, never, nobody else really liked it, or I didn't hear anything about it. But everything from that collection that I have... I really like. Here's another cream bronzer, which I'm going to keep and move. This is the Yensa one. I think I got that in a Nipsey or a Boxy or something, and it is excellent. The Yensa um, BB creams are good, uh, and this bronzer is stunningly beautiful. Beautiful. This is the Silk Bronzing Base. If you get the lid on, you're doing better than me. Holy, hello. We're just gonna do this all day. Can we not? Can we get a thread on this? Maybe this is why she was in Bakti Charm. Nobody could freaking close her. There it goes. Good night, Irene. Okay, there she is. Keep her with the creams. Estee Lauder Star Bronzer in Sunswept. Keeping her. She's beautiful. Used her a lot, actually. Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Power in Caramel Toffee. It is a really nice duo. Really, really nice. I do want to keep that. This is terrible. NARS Casino. Keeping her. It's a beautiful shade. I'm going to now start using this side. NYX California Beeman Bronzer. Let's see how shimmery she be. Ooh, I think she's pretty... Wow! She's very shimmery. I think that's too shimmery. Uh, I have plenty of shimmeries, so goodbye. This is cute. The little elf face powder. This is in coconut, and I think she's cute. I think she, we're going to keep her and use her for a while. So there we go. Makeup Revolution in uh, Holiday Romance. This one, I think, is, is shimmery, but in a, let's pick a finger, Leanne, but in a decent way. Oh, she's kind of golden. Hold on. I don't really like, like, super gold ones. All right, letting her go. Here is the Essence, the Glowing Golds bronzer. How are we, how are we doing here? She's all right. She's less gold. This is I Heart Revolution Bronze and Glow. This one is like the, I think like kind of the idea of the highlight and the yes, and she's gorgeous. Keep her. Too Faced Endless Summer. Got plenty of Too Faced bronzers, likely in the other drawer. There's Endless Summer. It says 16 hour bronze in it. She's nice keeping her. Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. Got this in whatever boxy, whatever ipsy, whatever. And she's she's fine really wish it was like flat and not this curved thing i can't stand that for storage but whatever here's the nyx highlighter and bronzer palette i don't even know oh i didn't even know i had this we're keeping it and we will use her and see how we like it here's the mac bronzing powder in matte bronze that's all she is and she's lovely and we're keeping that color pop talk to the palm this was in the going coconuts and she's lovely keep her. Here's NARS large size Laguna keeping her. Two more. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is the medium deep. It's a little whatever. Like those. Keeping those. Love that. Here is uh, Bare Minerals and Faux Tan. Keep that too. All right, let's get stuff moved back in here and then we'll take on the next drawer.
Okay, there's the drawer all lined up neatly. And uh, this is the lid of a gloss, a glossy box box. I don't like purchase organizers. I just choose nicely formed boxes that are <laughs> like, you know, how we do over here. So this is this one. Again, I'm, I'm a, I might I might put my cream bronzers or liquid bronzers or whatever in one of these drawers, but let's switch drawers and then we'll do the next one. Hold tight. All right, second drawer, here we go. Oh, it's a lot. All right, let's get the creams out. Soul Body Wet n Wild Makeup Stick. Here's a Temp2 Shimmer Bronzer. Milani Supercharged. Here's the Undone Water Bronzer, Elf Putty Bronzer. I think she's matte. This is the LAS Matte Bronzer, keeping her. Ciate Bamboo Bronzer in Aruba Island. I'll keep that one. Sonia Kashuk Goddess. It's beautiful. Look at that. Stunning. This is the Becca Mineral Bronzing Powder. Used her quite a bit. You can see she's beat up. We'll take her. Oh, I love these. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible, Invisible Bronze. This is dark to deep. I love these. This is such a good formula. And I think, okay, so here's dark to deep. Here's fair to light. Gorgeous. And here's tan. Gorgeous. Love them all. They are Stunning. Highly recommend that formula if you've never tried it. It also comes in a highlighter form. It's gorgeous. Okay. Also, these are stunning. Keeping all of these. This is a physician's formula. Butter coffee. Butter cake. Butter donut. Bronzer butter donut arrived. Totally shattered up. Repressed her. Um, so that, I'll keeping all those, but that's why she looks rough. This is a foundation stick in uh, Mahogany from Sephora that we'll, we use as a we. We use it as a bronzer, so we'll put it over there. The creams, here's another, um, this is the one in Courage. It's tan from LYS, love her. Here is another shade and light contour kit, but this is in the, not the light. It's in a darker shade. So there she is, keep her. This is a bronzer I think that came in a box. This is called Vesca Bronzer, Kissed by Diane. I don't really feel one way or the other, so I'll let her go. Here's the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Bali Sands. She's beautiful. Keep her. This is the bronzer that I've used up before. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. Um, and it's like a, it's, it's bigger than a deluxe sample size, kind of. But I've used her up before and I love her. So keeping that one, I love that bronzer. It is gorgeous. Here's another City Colors Desert Treasures. But y'all, I have used this, the Look how much, like, it's deep. Uh, she's also being held together by packing tape. Uh, this is called Sandstorm. And it's, this was a, it's just a really pretty ruddy one. And I am keeping that one, even though she looks like she's been through the wars. That's okay. Here's Benefit Hula. Um, she's fine. I don't, I don't really know that I want, I have Hula in face palettes. I don't know that I'm going to, I'll, I'll, give her away. Here's Hula Light, which I do not have. <sighs> mm, she looking rough. There she is. We'll keep her. Um, here's some contour sticks from KKW Beauty. We'll keep those over here in the cream section. Fiona Styles Bronzing Sun Veil in Western. This is that brand that had a couple blushes from there. From It was an Ulta brand. Uh, it's a really pretty bronzer, though. I'm going to keep that for now. If I end up not using her, I won't. This is the NYX uh, blush in taupe. Keep that. This is the old school contour powder from back in the day. This is Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in medium. Cute. Keep her. We love babies. Here's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep. Keep that. It's really, really thin. These are the types of bronzers that I will travel with. I'll just chuck it in there. Here's another NARS Laguna. Again, this is one that I'll travel with. I'll just chuck it in there. doesn't matter if it, like, breaks or whatever because it doesn't matter. Here's the Laura Geller uh, Baked Body Frosting All Over Glow Body Glow in Tahitian Glow. Uh, it's obviously a bronzer for me, and I don't use it on my body. I use it on my face, and I love Laura Geller products. It's 
really pretty. It's really, really pretty. So she's staying. City Color Be Matte Bronzer. I think I can let this go. This is in Caramel Drizzle. Goodbye. This is the Model Co. Shimmering Bronzing Powder. And um, I think I can let her go too. Shades by Shan Bronzer. I can let her go. Anastasia in Rosewood. Love her. Scooching up here. Here's the Kevin Aqua Dusk Medium. This is the Neo Bronzer. She's beautiful. Keeping her. Here is the, hello, Catrice Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer. She's really pretty. Keep her. Here is the Complex Culture. Um, it's a, bl a blush and a bronzer, and they're really nice. I'll keep that. Sun Club Luminous Bronzer in Medium Tone, Sunkissed in California. The, remember the other one we tried, like, never, it did not show up? This one does. And that one's okay. It's really shimmery and it's gold. Do I want it? Probably not. Let her go. Here's an e.l.f. Uh, Forever Sunkissed is what it says on the back. e.l.f. is not great about putting things on the actual package. Let's see what she looks like. Kind of a yellow tone, light bronze. Not bad, but I'm not thrilled. We'll let her go. Makeup Revolution Mega Bronze in 01 Cool. This one is nice. Um, and... See, much, much nice. I like it. Oh, keep her. Okay. LA Colors Bronzer. She can go. Got two Kylie's here. Hmm. I have Tanned and Gorgeous in Tawny Mammy. Tawny Mommy. I don't know. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keeping them. Keeping them. I like those bronzers. Here is an Essence Contouring Palette in Lighter Skin. I like that one. It stays. Here is the Lorac Beach Betty Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder. Let's see what she looks like here. Oh gosh. That's quite pretty. We'll keep her. I haven't used her in forever. This is Item Cheek Money in Vibes. She can go. Here is the nice version of this together pathetic thing keep that as a backup it's absolutely stunning here's a revolution pro lustrous skin finish um and this is a finishing powder that they sell and this is one that is a very bronzy tone of it and so if i am if i want to bronze up like my whole face i can use that it's a really nice powder i it's crazy but i like it here is the Catrice Sun Lover Glow Bronzer Powder in Sun Kissed Bronze. And let's see what she looks like. Not bad. I don't know that I'm in love with it, but I'll keep it for a little while and see how we go. Here's the Flower Luminous Bronzer in Heat Wave. I think a, a lot of people like this. Um, and I can't remember what I think of it, so we might need to break her out. Oh, she turns a different color when you touch her. How interesting. It's, that doesn't look like what that looks like. It's okay. We'll keep her and use her. Lovecraft Beauty. And this is a bronzing palette. I think I can let her go. We'll talk about those in a second. This is the most beautiful bronzer that I own. Uh, it's that Too Faced Beautiful bronzer. It's the Natural Lust bronzer. And she's gorgeous. Keep her for sure. Now, let's talk about the these odd things. So my Kohl's that was local to me way back in the day had, um, was selling all of their beauty products at like 95% off. And so I purchased these two American beauty powders and I used them as bronzers and love them. And I'm going to keep them. This is in deep cool. This is in very deep warm. And I think they are mislabeled. So I think they're actually the opposite of what they say they are. Okay, um, I'm going to keep all of the cream bronzers and liquid bronzers that I have. And uh, let me get everything back in this drawer and we will dismiss class.
Okay, there's the second drawer all done. I've got my cream liquid bronzers here. I probably have some others hiding out in places. Um, and again, this is not my kimchi, I have a kimchi drawer. <laughs> so this is not my kimchi collection. Um, they all live elsewhere, but this is my second drawer of bronzers. Now left, I have face palettes. So things that um, I've had some blush palettes. You've seen a couple of face palettes in this um, video, but you will see some, the actual all face palettes will be a separate video itself. So stay tuned for that. We're also going to do powders. We're going to do a lot. I don't, I don't love decluttering, but I'll do it with you. So there we go. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, like this video and hit subscribe. Let's be friends. Thanks y'all. Bye.